What's up YouTube? J.O. Reptiles here. Um, I'm back. I know I've been gone for a really long time. I haven't made a video, but it's because I've been working on a huge project, which is what you're looking at right now. This is my new, it's a shed, 8x12, all insulated for my reptiles. So yeah, so I'm just going to go over and show you guys everything that I have in here. Uh, so this is pretty much a reptile room update slash new reptile room. So let's get started. So right here, this is my false water cobra uh, in its vision cage. So pretty much we have the light, a ceramic heat emitter, log, plants, water bowl, hides. I don't know exactly where it is might be in the water these things are pretty dodgy so you got to be careful reaching in yeah so it's in the water I'll take it out and uh, give you guys a closer look so this is him here uh, he's about a little over two feet these are really cool snakes if you uh, if you want if you have the time to work with them they're very smart they'll like watch you from the tank and everything will come right up to the glass. Um, so this is him. This is a male false water cobra. And then right under the false water cobra cage, I have my bin of dubia roaches that I breed. And then all these are just small mealworm colonies. And then next to that is my rack with my VE100 thermostat. So in here is my black blood python. Another awesome snake. It's just a little baby right now. It was born in 2014. So that's pretty cool. Can't wait till that gets big. Right underneath there is my leopard gecko. Just a pet. I don't breed uh, the leopard geckos but this is a female Hypo. And then under there is my ball python. There she is. She's in shed right now, so I don't want to mess with her too much. And then over here, there's the two long shelves. You'll notice that all these two tanks are empty. This one here is just the tank I have set up. The reptile show is coming up soon here in San Diego, July 18th and 19th. Uh, I already bought my ticket at LLO Reptile. You can buy them before so you don't have to wait in line. So anyways, this is just the tank that I have set up for something that's a surprise. You guys will see once that show comes around. Over here I just have some empty vision cages also waiting to be filled with things from the reptile show. So, over here, my zebra tarantula, my Costa Rican zebra, I don't want to mess with it too much, I don't want to stress it, but it's in there, it's pretty cool. And then in here is my Arizona Desert Hairy Scorpion. So I've made this tank really nice with that excavator clay, but since they're burrowing, they it looked really nice before, there's a cave under here. But um, I kind of went around and dug and messed them up. But that's that. Now, on this side of the wall, this holds 10 tubs here, and that's for uh, my Krista geckos, which I've been breeding and focusing a lot on right now. So these two tubs have a group, and then these two have a male and a female that I'll show you, and then these are all empty. Um, that they'll be filled for after the show. So I'll go ahead and show you guys uh, my breeder crested geckos. So here's one of my breeding groups. I call this one my golden group. Unfortunately none of them are fired up. Um, but this is the male. He is a gold harlequin. This is just a female yellow. And that is her fired down. She has some really nice colors. And then over here is my female tiger. 
So I have eggs from these two going right now that I'll show you guys later on in the video. So that's the golden group. This is another pairing I'm working with right now. That's my red. This one here is a red bicolor female. Um, she fires up. She's not fired up right now, but she fires up a really nice red. So I like her a lot. And then she has some really nice... You can't really pick it up, but uh, she has some nice pepper Dalmatian spots on her. This is the big male that I have her with. Harlequin. He's a beast. He's about almost 60 grams. I think he's at about 57 right now. That's him. And I have eggs from this pairing also in the incubator right now. So this here is my favorite female I have right now. I'm trying to get her up to breeding size. She can stay still. She's kind of a spaz. But she is a Halloween. She fires up a really nice dark base. She's sitting at about 38 grams right now. I want to get her a little bit bigger before I breed her. She actually laid uh, her first dud eggs about two weeks ago. So that's her. I'll, I'm going to be looking for a nice male at this reptile show coming up in July in San Diego for her. So there she is. Alright, so this is a last breeder size crested gecko I have. This is a male. I'm fattening up right now. He is a harlequin. Or I'm sorry, he's an extreme harlequin. So that's him. He's also a possible pair for the Halloween I just showed you guys, if I can't find a nice male for her at the show. So that's him. Alright, so in my room here is where I have my incubator. Um, this is just the uh, Exoterra. Pretty cool. I like it a lot. It works good for me. So, uh, I'll show you guys the eggs I have going right now. These are just the... I've hatched three so far. There are those. So right now I have seven eggs. Or two... Or six eggs. These are from the red bicolor female. These are also from her. This is from the yellow female, and this is from the yellow tiger. And then next I'll show you guys some of the babies I recently hatched out. Alright, so here's one of the babies I hatched out. This is from my harlequin to, one, to my yellow. So that's one. Really cute little geckos when they're this small. And they're already eating Pangea. I'll show you the next two. Alright, so this is from my uh, Harlequin pinstripe male. The Harlequin pinstripe male to one of my pinstripe females that I don't have anymore. So there's one, almost a full pinstripe. Barely just a couple breaks. Here's the other one. Really nice little babies. That one is almost 100% pin, but it has a tiny break there. So those are all the babies. And then I'm up, I'll show you guys some babies that, I'm, that are almost up to size. Here's one of my juvenile's pinstripes. Fires up a really nice dark black. Here's another nice juvenile flame. Fires up a nice orange. Pretty cool looking gecko. So that's it for the update. Subscribe, stay tuned for more videos. Thanks for watching.